I'm going to explain the procedure to stop the pump from making a short cycle. Uh, sometimes it happens, customers say, hey, uh, when, we, uh, when we're close to get the pressure that we want, uh, the pump uh, do a stop and go uh, very, very quick. Actually, the reason why the pump do a stop and go is because there's air trapped in the system, in the elbows and valves and, 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 and whatever in the system. And that air is going out slowly through the, uh, the uh, air separators or some small air vent that are installed. So what we want to do to prevent the, uh, the short cycling is we want to store some liquid, uh, glycol or water, and we want to store that liquid into the expansion tank. We're going to use the expansion tank as, as our buffer tank if we want. So uh, to do so, let's say you want the pressure to be uh, 12 psi for your system. So you do have 12 psi when you don't touch anything. When the pump arrives close to that 12 psi, it starts to do that, uh, that uh, stop and go. So to do that, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to unlock the, uh, the little valve over here. We're going to take a screwdriver and let's say we're going to do like one turn clockwise. When we do one turn clockwise, we'll see that the pressure on the gauge is going to go up. Probably, I don't know about one turn, it might go, let's say, to 15 PSI. We want to store, let's say, 3 PSI. That will represent a quarter of a liter, uh, a few ounces uh, of liquid. Um, and we don't know exactly, but we know that we got some liquid in the expansion tank that will be used to replace the air which is trapped in the system that is going out through uh, all the uh, air separator that I explained before. So what do we do? And when we have that 15 and, and we know that the pump is, is doing again the short cycling because we were close to that 15, so what we do is we need a, absolutely a valve to separate the GMPs from the system. What we're going to do is we're going to close what goes to the system over here and then the pump's going to stop. And then you'll be able again to see if the pressure, what is the pressure? So pressure should be probably, like I say, at 15 PSI. To, and then you know that you have that liquid store. Now, to get the system back to 12 PSI, because you want 12 PSI in your system, you're gonna open up the bypass valve over here. When we're gonna open this, when you're gonna open this up, you're gonna see that the pump's gonna start to run again. Run in a steady, a steady flow because the, the valve is open. So you're gonna take your screwdriver again and you're gonna go counterclockwise this time. And you're gonna do maybe that one turn that you did before uh, and then you're going to close the valve slowly and you'll look at the, uh, the pressure if the pressure is back to 12 or if it's at 13 let's say if it's at 13 you say well let's do it one more time just like this no it's still 13 so you're going to unscrew that a little bit more you're going to open your valve again and you're going to close until it reached the 12. when it's going to reach a 12 you've set all your gmp to 12 psi so you know that you've done that and that's the pressure that you want for your system. At that point, you reopen the, system, the, the ball valve that goes to the system and then the pump is not going to run because there's 15 pounds of pressure in the system and we got some liquid store into that expansion tank. So that liquid, that air is going to go out, that liquid is going to take place and then when it's going to go back to 13, 12 PSI, the pump may not run or may run a little bit, but then you've, uh, you've stopped the short cycling of the pump. As easy as that. Thank you.